Welcome everyone to another episode of Rantix Replays. Here we are with the Skoda T50 Tier 9 Czechoslovakian tank. We're on Live Oaks. Fantastic matchup for us. Only a couple of Tier 9s. The rest are 8s and 7s and 6s on the enemy team. Wow. As far as matchmaking goes, doesn't get better than this. But still, you want to do great matchmaking, you need you need to be able to pull the trigger and hit the targets, right? So I don't take anything for granted. And I play this game as best as I can, just like I would any other game. Yep. So here we are on the south side of the map and with the Skoda T50 and it's 8 degrees of gun depression it's really really useful on peeking over these ridges and using the sort of terrain that you have on this map right here so uh, I decided it's safe and I push over I should get spotted by something not sure what and the Ru 251 takes shots on me. But, bro. You hit me once, I hit you twice. This is Bob, reloading. Ah, oh, low roll, can't finish him off. But can someone get him? Can someone get him? Yes, he gets spotted and he gets taken out. So, I'm gonna open up this flank and look for targets here. There's a nice little double bush here, which is very useful. Do I see something? Yes, I see the pot. Get two shots into him. Don't really have a third shot. I get spotted at that point, but it's too late for them to get me. And this is something you definitely need to do when you're in a fast medium tank like the Skoda. Don't be predictable in your movement and make sure you come at them from different angles at every time. Keep on changing the angle. And here's what we talk about the gun depression, guys. Just up this hill and able to fully unload and hit that TDA4 for over 930 points of damage. Take my 20 seconds to reload, but these two guys are in really bad positions. Not even looking at me. I go up. And I take him out. T-34 gun isn't that accurate. So he wasn't able to clip me. But I reload once more. T-34 looks like he's had enough of me and he's trying to get me. But that's where my teammates move in on behind. And he's stuck in two mines now. I know because it's happened to me many times before. But he gives me the side of his heart. And this gun doesn't disappoint. There's a Chiwi and a CDC still up ahead. But it looks very unlikely that they'll be able to stand up to the power of this autoloader. The CDC does manage to take out the rule with help from an artillery piece but he gets taken out as well the SDA2 is gone too so we've basically won this flank but we've completely lost the town as the enemy heavy tanks decimated the tanks that we had in town including a very strong VK 4502B I'm surprised that that tank couldn't hang on a little bit longer than it did Let's stop for a second, Let's take a look. Nothing here. And I push forward just to clear the back of this of their base to make sure that artillery is not sneaky hiding here. We always need to do that. And indeed he is. He takes a shot. It misses. I don't. And there goes the tier 9 artillery piece. I make sure I keep this house in front of me, between me and the other side of the town because if they're sniping there, if they set up the snipe from there, they would have shots on me while I was spotted by that artillery piece. So it's always good to be in cover. 
to make sure that the enemy has no shot on you while you're spotted. But the TT7, bit slow to react there, can't get him. It's already been a fantastic game for me. Amazing with that shot, it was able to keep the Conqueror. 4,500 points of damage. But well, 5 minutes gone in the game. And we're leading 9 to 6. And I'm thinking about ne my next move. High Street tries to make a hero push. I set on fire. He uses his extinguisher by set on fire again. And he gets taken out of the game by the Pershing. But not before I hit him for more than a thousand points of damage, including those two fires that I set. Alright. When you're shooting an IS-3 guys, always aim for that part, that rear part of the engine if you can, because chances of setting on fire is pretty high and you don't want to miss the opportunity when it presents itself to you like that. The Centurion gets taken out, he unwisely tried to cap, spotted by god knows what. But I take cover while waiting for my for me to disappear from their map again. Yep, the Centurion shouldn't have capped, but he tried, and that's how he got taken out by the I think it was the low you that probably had the final shot on him. But what do we have here? Again the gun depression. Very, very reliable. And there goes the TD7. For some reason, he thinks it's a good idea to kind of cross an open field. But he gets taken out of the game as well. And the Lowy gets taken out by the Panther from the Swarm. Our T29 gets removed from the game by the Conqueror. And I have, and I, if, I, if I'm not wrong, the Conqueror still has quite a bit of health left. So I've got to be careful here. Probably won't be able to clip him with one shot, but I will be able to take care of the KV3 with one shot. I go for the shot and I take him out. And I put in two more shots into the conqueror as I go for my reload. Will I have enough to be able to reload fast enough to get one more shot into him? Ah, uh, the reload, not fast enough. Oh, just as I reload, the Persian takes him out. That's the game, guys. A fantastic top gun in the Skoda T50. 10,500 win eight. I get a bunch of medals. War XP, 1,396. And yet, it's not an ace tanker. How disappointing. God knows how much war XP you need to generate in order to get an ace tanker in this tank. May I, maybe I need to go higher tiers. I don't know. But it was a great game for me. And I really enjoyed that. Just show, showcasing how strong the Skoda T50 can be when you abuse its turret as well as its incredible gun, auto-loading gun. Alright guys, that's it for me. Thank you so much for watching. If you enjoyed the video, please do give the, the, the channel a subscribe and like the video. It does help the channel a lot. We'll see you again next time.